Hi, welcome to Weekday Word, part of Love Church Online. And my name's Dan, and I'm part of the team here at Love Church. It's great to be with you. Uh, on this, the last day of, uh, of my five days of Weekday Words, five minutes-ish per day, um, and we've been working our way this week through Psalm 139. If you go back to day one, we read it all the way through the whole passage and I picked out a couple of bits there. And then as the week's gone on, we've picked out a little bit more and picked on specific verses to see what we can draw out. And in essence, we've learned how much God cares for us, loves for us, is always there uh, and always around us. Um, and I wanted to talk today about God, um, asking God for guidance and seeking God's guidance. So knowing that God knows everything about us, then it makes sense that, you know, when we want to know something, then we should ask him. He, you know, he knows absolutely everything before, present, future, the whole lot. So seeking God for guidance seems like a sensible idea. Uh, one area in David's life that he wanted uh, God's help with to know more about was um, just that going deeper and asking God to just to know his heart, to seek in, in searching in his heart any ways in him that weren't of God. So when we go back through the scriptures and we read through, and the last couple of verses you're just picking out here, are verses 23 and 24, and David says this, he says, search me God and know my heart, test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So David knows that he's probably not the best judge of himself, that actually asking God for his help and guidance, you know, that, that probably makes sense. We might think that we uh, are already good enough, but the truth is that perhaps we're not. And David prayed for God to search him and that he would exercise this great power of his on, on him and he prayed God, Know my heart, know my worries, imaginations, my memories, my hopes, dreams, aspirations, feelings, plans, and everything in between. He was saying, God, search me and know everything within me, which of course God does. And most importantly, David prayed to God to specifically show him his wickedness, you know, where he was going wrong, the areas of sin in his life. For knowing uh, where to go, God, God can clearly show us the way to everlasting life. Now today's a little bit shorter in terms of what I've got in my notes here to, to unpack, but I thought it'd be really good just to, to think about that for a moment. And at the end of the week, to be perhaps in a position where we can pray this together. And it's not always easy to do that. Going back, I'm just going to look at these verses again. So verse 23. Search me, God, know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. And then a slightly challenging bit here. See if there's any offensive way in me to lead me in your ways everlasting. So, you know, if we want to be following God's will for our lives and God's guidance, we probably want to get rid of some rubbish along the way as well. Anything that might be in the way that prevent us from really truly understanding what that is and, to be, and following in that. So I'm gonna to pray today, if that's okay, for that specifically. I will add, by the way, that there's an awful lot of positivity in here that he's, you know, David's asking, yeah, my, know about my worries and that, you know, if there's any wickedness within me or anything like that, but there's also this, all this other stuff, my memories, my hopes, dreams, aspirations, my feelings, my plans, all that stuff that's exciting. And maybe for some of us today, it's like, God, I don't, I don't know. I need your help, I need your guidance. Like I said, right at the top today is, you know, we, we need God's guidance. So let's pray for that specifically. I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer together, and then we're going to pray into this whole area of guidance. So let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And Father God, I wanna 
invite you wherever we are now, wherever we're watching this, and this includes me just, you know, as much as anybody watching at home or wherever, God, we give you permission to search our hearts. Would you come? Would you just, by your Holy Spirit, would you just search us? Would you show us the areas in our hearts and in our lives that we need to work on, that we might need to change? God, ultimately, we want to be more like you. We want to be leading a life pleasing to you. So would you come and put us on the right path? Show us the areas that we need to work on the things that we need to do better. We love you, Jesus, and we know that, you know, you, you, you're you bothered about, we've gone, you know, we've learned this this week, you're bothered about everything. I was referring earlier, we were saying about our imagination, our hopes, dreams, aspirations, and plans. God, you know all of those because you put them there. You made us in the first place. You know what excites us. And I just pray for anyone today this feeling a little bit unsure about direction. There's two things I just come into mind at the moment. One is I pray that for those who are, who are struggling with knowing God's closeness right now, I just pray, God, that you would just draw close to them by your spirit. They would know your love for them and your closeness to them right now and know that you are bothered about them. You created them, you created them to be perfect in your sight, fearfully and wonderfully made as we learned about the other day. Would you just draw close to them and show them your love? And Lord, for those who are seeking guidance at the moment, who, who are looking in for um, they, you know, perhaps plans in a new direction or a direction they thought they were going in and it feels like perhaps they've lost their way slightly. Father, would you come? Would you guide? Would you lead? We love you so much. We, we want to be doing the plans that you have for us because they're the best. You made those plans. And we want to follow your path and follow your ways. So God, I just pray for guidance and for leading for me, for anybody watching right now. We give ourselves again to you afresh today and say, God, lead us, guide us. We want to be doing your will. We thank you for this time that we've, uh, the times that we've been able to spend together throughout this week. Um, yeah, we love hanging out with you. We love learning more about you. I thank you for all that is in Psalm 139 that shows us your love, your protection and your care for us. Bless you, I pray, in your precious name, Lord Jesus, we love you. Amen. I mean, guys, it's been so good to be with you this week. Thank you for having me. That's the end of, uh, of our time together. Hope you've enjoyed this kind of journey through Psalm 139. Um, and I look forward to seeing you again. Don't forget, weekday word every week. Uh, midday five minutes five thoughts um so yeah tune in again next week thanks ever so much take care i'll see you soon cheers bye, -bye.